Have you ever been tempted by something you know you shouldn't do? Hello, my friend, I have. It didn't end well for me, and I want to tell you about it. When I was in college, my wife and I, we were dating at the time, <laughs> went to Alaska with my future sister-in-law and brother-in-law. It was such an amazing trip, and we drove from Oregon all the way up to Alaska, which was an event. And then when we were there, we rented a motorhome and went all over the place. Denali is one of my favorite places in the world. Right outside of Denali, there's this state park that you have a magical view of Mount McKinley. And it was clear that day, and we went to the sta that state park. But something happened in that state park. When we were going along, we're seeing sign of bear everywhere, like, just everywhere. I mean, there's signs telling you danger, grizzly bear. And there was this little stream cut out. And in that stream, I saw salmon. Now, something you need to know about this guy is I love salmon. I love catching it, and I love eating it. And when I saw that fish and that strand, those fish, I wanted one. And I thought to myself, self, <laughs> you could probably catch one with your hands. So I took off my socks and shoes and waded into the stream, splashing around like a bear. I wanted the salmon so bad, I didn't consider the bears in that moment. And so I'm in this glacier-fed water, very cold, trying to get salmon, who surprisingly are swimming away from me. I don't know why. Trying to get them, and I can't feel my feet. And so I try to get one, but I stumble over my feet splash into the water, get soaking wet. And then I'm like, okay, this isn't working. Maybe I should get out. Oh no, oh no, I'm committed now. I am committed, I'm not. This guy never quits, I'm not a quitter. So I just go with a new strategy. I'm just gonna stand here and wait for them to come back in around me. So I stand there. Sure enough, a dumb one comes out and I grab it and throw it on shore. I got it, I got it. So I run over there, hit it in the head. With, and I'm like, going back, you would have thought I won an Olympic gold medal. I'm telling you, I was so excited. Put it in my bag, put my shoes and socks back on, and I start headed down the trail. Coming down that trail is a park ranger. Now, whether you know it or not, what I had just done is illegal. All of a sudden, my mind is racing. I know. I look guilty as sin. I'm soaking wet. I'm just, I, I got fish smell coming off of me. I mean, I, I'm dead. I, I'm, all of a sudden, I picture my life, and I'm 20 years in a slammer. Like, this is it. This is it. But I just keep walking. Frozen feet, by the way, are not good for the strut walk. You know, I'm like stumbling. I knew he was going to get me, but he didn't see me. And past that danger, and then I keep walking. And all of a sudden, it hits me. Now that the hypothermia is not hitting me, I start thinking, there's grizzly bear sign everywhere. I have their favorite food strapped to my back. And now I'm worried about being eaten. But I keep going. I got my prize, I need to eat it. And so keep going and going. And we get in the car and we go away. And that night, we went to eat the fish. Now here's the thing. The stream I was in was where they were spawning. I don't know if you know this, but after salmon spawn, they die. And it wasn't a dumb fish that I caught. It was a dying fish I caught. It tasted awful. What can we learn by this? Number one, temptation, my friend, will take you farther than you ever intended to go when you give into it. Temptation takes us farther than we ever thought it would take us. Have you ever seen someone's life from a distance and think, how could they ever have done that? It's because you're from a distance. It didn't start out with that. It grew into that. If you track my paths with the salmon. It started out in a very innocent, 
crime breaking, not so innocent thing. <laughs> but every act I kept taking, the danger mounted higher and higher. Like, I'm not joking. That water was so cold. I was not warming my body. So there was the hypothermia risk. There was also a very risk, real risk of getting in trouble with the law. I hope the statutes of limitations have passed now that I'm broadcasting this on the internet. Grizzly bear. Like, the amount I was risking in that moment was not in my brain, and that's what temptation does. The amount we are giving up, the amount we are risking, we don't think about it in the moment. See, we risk more and more and more. But I just want to reframe so that we can remain. So how do we reframe so that we can remain faithful? The first step is just to pause and to notice temptation has grabbed a hold of you. That sounds simple, but I believe that's the hardest part. So here's some tips for you so that you can notice temptations overwhelming you. Number one, it's all you can see. Like it's all you can see. An another clue is that you are fixated on something that that thing is going to make you happy. Like that's all you need. It kind of reminds me of the movie, The Jerk, where he's like, all I need is this lamp. That's all I need to make me happy. And we can get like this, whether it's a fish or a bowl of stew or whatever it is you're fixated on. Number three, you can't see the cost of what you're doing. There's no cost to it. All upside, all greatness, all fish fillets, right? Those are clear signs that temptation is overwhelming you. Just pause and notice. Just in noticing that can do us a lot of good. The other one is just to give a longer time frame. So in that moment, maybe the fish fillet is still worth it. But longer time frame oftentimes will lower the level of temptation. When I zoom out on that situation, honestly, even today, even though I'm joking about it, Kind of shame, shame comes over me. Like the long-term ramifications of what you're doing. I wasn't a man of integrity. I broke law. I endangered others. I endangered myself. I'd like to say that's the only moment in time that that's happened to me, but there's many moments where I've damaged relationship, damaged integrity for myself, damaged the way people viewed me, all because temptation grabbed hold. So zoom out and look at the long landscape. Oftentimes that gives us a perspective that's needed. And the longest landscape we need to consider is in the light of eternity. In the light of eternity, how will I feel about what I'm doing? All right, the next step. Like that was a moment in time I don't need to guard against salmon stealing. <laughs> That's not something, but there's other areas of my life I do need to guard against. I do need to guard against. And how we can do that is we can recognize patterns. You have patterns. If there's a temptation that you've fallen into over and over and over again, there's a pattern with it. If it's pornography, if it's alcohol consumption, it's you losing your temper. Whatever it is, you have a pattern. Do you recognize that pattern? Here's a pattern for me. I'm tempted to do things outside of my character the day I record these videos. Why? What's going on inside of me? Well, I'll tell you for me, even though it doesn't help your walk, or maybe it will. Yet I'm depleting myself as I record these. It takes a lot of energy. It's also that I'm vulnerable. I'm revealing things to you about myself right now. Also, I'm alone after these are recorded because I'm working from home. So those are things that I recognize in my pattern that now I can make a plan for. Accountability. I can do things that fill me up. Those all guard against the temptation to do things that I will regret. And we are all tempted to do that. I just touched on it, but that's the last piece of reframing so that we can remain faithful, is accountability. Either the people I was with in the river that day were not 
there to hold me accountable. They were there to have fun and we were all college age dummies. But nowadays, like Wednesday afternoon, I need to hold, be held accountable. And so my wife knows that it's a day of temptation for me. She asks me when she gets home how it went. And if you have people hold you accountable, I just want to caution you against something. You're going to be tempted even then to lie, to not say how things really went, especially if you fail. But my friend, that's when rubber meets the road. That's when you're going to stand up and say, I'm a man or a woman of integrity, no matter what it costs. Because when we choose to lie in those moments, we start cauterizing our hearts so that we can't feel the touch of God or the touch of others. And that's when we're in the ultimate danger. I hope those help you to just to reframe so that you can remain because the temptation, the fish doesn't taste as good as it looks. Hey, one of the areas we can be tempted the most is in lust. And I think if we're honest, we all struggle with lust. It might not be sexual lust, it might be another lust, the desire, the strong desire, we talked about that today, to, to have something that is not yours to have. So watch this video right here, and it'll help you to overcome lust. It's just not worth it, my friend. Have a great day, and God bless you in your journey.